This is the loot from 100 Harbinger maps. 94 divines, excluding lucky drops like mirror shards and invitations. I ran 100 maps, city squares, toxic sewers, as well as some random hunter influence maps. Pretty much anything I had in my stash. All these maps were chiseled to perfection. That's 20% if you didn't know. Then I used alchemies on them. I didn't really pay attention to the pack size or quantity. Pretty much if it was a map I could run comfortably, then it was good enough for me. And if I had mobs I was scared of, I'd just scour an alk again or just chaos orbit. The average quality was probably like 60 or 70 and pack size 20. Uh, I'm not really sure. I used 5 scares, 3 harbingers, a regency, and a war horde for every map. Each map takes about 5 minutes to run. And here's the exact atlas tree that I ran. Looking at the results, we can see I was pretty blessed uh, during the 100 maps. I got 2 mirror shards. So obviously I didn't really include it in the final results. 94 divines were the good stuff. A lot of the currency comes from harbinger drops, tier 17 maps, and scarabs. Everything else is just stuff that you probably won't ever sell anyways. So a generous estimate of how much profit you'll get per map running this strategy is probably like 100 C uh, a map. I'm overestimating the cost here of each map, but overall I think the strat is pretty solid. If the maps are too hard, you can always get rid of some map modifier effect on the atlas tree and go for more scarab chance and map drops since quantity doesn't affect the number of harbinger shards that you get from the big guy. But rather, I think it affects the people he summons. But, you know, with how much money you get with just the Harbinger for, uh, drops, maybe you can just run the maps white if you're weak. I don't know. I'm not sure.